Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing this Morticia Adams look. It's based on the Carolyn Jones Morticia Adams, that's the one from the original black and white TV series. It's not based on the um, Angelica Houston one from the movies, um, so please do bear that in mind if you're looking for an Angelica Houston style Morticia Adams tutorial. This is not going to be it. Um, I do hope you enjoy um, following along as I create this look. I'm predominantly focusing on the makeup because there isn't an awful lot that needs doing with the hair as long as you can get a long straight black wig or your hair is long straight and black. Um, some people have all the look. Um, and I've also painted my nails red to match so I'm going to pop in a little bit of footage first of all just showing how I did my nails because I shaped them and then I painted them with a couple of coats of nail varnish. I hope you enjoy this tutorial and I will um, look forward to doing something similar in the future. Let me know in the comments if you would like me to have a go at the um, Angelica Houston version of Morticia as well and I will as ever see what I can do. Enjoy! Mwah. Okay, so I've done my nails. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do the face. A little bit more on his forehead. Okay, so we're looking very good on the face but not so much on the neck. So I'm just blending some of this down the neck. I know that like Bobby Brown and a few other makeup artists say not to do this but I think it's important when you're doing um, costume characters slash cosplay work rather than doing like trying to do the Julia Roberts Oscar winning your face but better kind of look which we were not going for. So next we're going to do the eyebrows. Now you've got a choice if you're doing Angelica Houston's um, Morticia Adams you'll want a thinner eyebrow which a higher arch. If you are doing Carolyn Jones's um, out of Morticia. Blah, 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 blah. If you're doing Carolyn Jones's Morticia, you will want thicker eyebrows that start further out because her eyebrows start quite far out and then they go back. So I've got the brows for that. So I'm going to show you the Carolyn Jones ones um, just because most people do the Angelica Houston ones. I am using my Vital Radiance Brow Powder and I'm just going in with the darker of the two colours because she does have quite dark hair and you don't want pale eyebrows and dark hair. So that's the eyebrows. Okay, so next we're going to do the eyeshadow. Now she doesn't really actually have um, a huge over the top eyeshadow look because it's more the eyeliner and the lashes. So we're just gonna go in with the Laura Mercier in Ginger. Um, it's a matte eye color. Um, and I'm going to be using Eco Tools brush, it kind of looks like a paintbrush. And just doing that in a very rounded shape because um, you want the eyelids to look a little bit heavier than usual without actually looking like you're ill. Okay, that's the eyeshadow done. And so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put my eyelashes in. I'm going to be using the Revlon Precision Dark Eyelash Glue. And I'm going to be using that with... Where's the packet? It's the Eyelore Pro Lash Lashes. Um, but I can't find the packet. But I've got the actual lashes out already. Um, so I'm just going to use a few of the... Um, I'm going to use a few of the medium. And then I'm going to use a few of the long... Uh, sorry, I'm going to use a few of the short. And then I'm going to use a few of the medium. If you don't have a latex allergy, you can, of course, use the um, like strip lashes. I have a latex allergy so I can't use them so instead I am using the latex free lash glue with the semi-permanent lashes. Where the creak has that one gone? There it is. The only problem with these is they are a little bit of a faff and you can clearly see the knots in them once they're in. The lashes on one side, and I'm just gonna get them in on the other side. 
Okay, so I've got my lashes in. Now the next thing to do is eyeliner. So give it a shake. Grab a mirror. Focus the camera. <laughs> Okay, so we've dried that side, so now we're going to go on to the other side. Okay, so that's the eye makeup. Next we want to do the lipstick. For the lipstick, you have a choice. Because obviously it's in black and white, so we don't actually know what colour lipstick she would have worn. So you can either go with something very, very dark like this something very dark um this is the collection lasting color in number seven mid slide or you can go with something like this is red i'm personally going to go with the red because it's going to match my nails i've done my nails red today i've got a big pack of lip liners that i bought from m.n me now professional cosmetics pencil i'm going to be using number 28 which is a dark red just drawn a little bit outside the lines at the top to get the pointy cupid's bow and shaped my lips around with the i am lip pencil and i've shaded in further down a little bit with the lip pencil as well so this looks a little bit less like i've just drawn my lips on and more like I've used the pencil to line the lips and I'm just doing a similar thing at the bottom just to shape the lips but I've left the middle bit open because that'll make the lips look larger and um, because that'll make the lip <laughs> right, I've just done the same thing at the bottom and then I've just left the uh, middle bit with no lip liner on it at all because that'll make the lips look larger when the lipstick goes on because this will show through redder and this bit will show through lighter and it'll just naturally make my lips look a little bit more um, large, well plump I suppose is a better word than large I'm going to be using the W7 um, lipstick in very red that's the darkest red they do oh it smells like um, purple grapes I'm not sure that's quite right for Morticia more Jessica Rabbit that's better for Morticia But of course, dear, I remembered to feed the piranhas. Of course, we're missing one thing, one very important thing. In fact, two very important things, but the first very important thing is the wig, and the other important thing is the costume. So let me go get into those, and I'll be right back. So I've slipped into something a little bit more mortish-like. Now I'm just putting a wig cap over my hair. Could have tied it up. I chose not to this time. Et aujourd'hui, les pièces de résistance. C'est mon cheveu noir. And this is the finished result. Um, this is the hair and makeup finished result. I'll go show you a long shot over there, as I always do. Um, I'm really pleased with how this has come out. It was quite quick and easy to do as well. Um, a lot quicker than a lot of my other tutorials that I've done. Um, ooh, I just want the interplay between my own hair and that black wig to just not be there. Ari, vraiment ça. Okay, so this is the finished look. I'll just go show you over there what it looks like with the full costume. Um, one note about costume is that I don't have the um, sticky outy tendrily things um, for the skirt, so I've just gone with a long black skirt. Um, and again with the top, I've just gone with kind of an off the shoulder black top. I hope you understand. Um, I would love to actually make myself a costume to go with this, um, but for the time being that's what I've got. This was mostly a hair and well, it was mostly a makeup tutorial actually so you can get the makeup right um so yeah everything else is just gravy let's go take a look and this is the finished look and this is the finished
finished look with the costume so I've gone with an off the shoulder top because I don't have anything else that I think Morticia would really wear and I've gone with a long black skirt it doesn't have the tendrils on the bottom because as I said a moment ago I don't have anything like that I'd really love to make a uh, skirt like that at some point i um, really pleased with the way that this one's come out on the um, makeup front as well um, and I think that this would be a perfect quick and easy um, Halloween or fancy dress party costume. If you liked this please click the like button otherwise I'm going to just have to send Uncle Fester to go and hunt you down and nobody wants that. I mean after all it is his hibernation season. Okay it's been great thank you very much for watching and I will see you in my next video. I'm not sure what that's going to be yet. Put me your suggestions in the comments below for um, anything that you'd like me to um, do a tutorial on for cosplays or fancy dress or whatever and I will see what I can do. Cheers. Bye. Oh no, mon ami. Je suis un crayon avec les lapins qui mangent mon pantalon. Oui, c'est ça.